Hey, what is going on, Lucky Trader? My name is Chris, also known as Piston. And so today I'm gonna go through a pretty simple tutorial, actually, of how to mint NFTs from contract. Now, this is something that you're gonna wanna know how to do, as every once in a while, a new NFT project mint will come up, where people that know how to mint from contract have an advantage, because sometimes an NFT mint website will get overloaded, and actually a way that you can get around that is by minting from contract. So let's get right into it here to show you how to mint from contract. All right, so to start off, we've got this project called Adorable Avocados that's minting right now. It's not a project that I plan to mint, but it's a project that I can show you how to mint from contract on. So here is the mint website where most people are gonna mint, but let's say hypothetically that everybody was going for this project and the website was down because it was so overloaded with too much traffic. Well, we're gonna go and show you how to actually still be able to mint this project even though the site is down. So the first thing that I did, I already have this pulled up, but I pulled up the OpenSea page for this. Sometimes you may not have the OpenSea page already provided. So if you don't, you can usually find the contract address within the project's Discord. Just try and make sure that it's from a member of the project's team. But for the sake of this project here, I've already got the OpenSea page for the project pulled up. I pulled up a random NFT, and then we can go down here under details and then click on the contract address, which will pull up the contract here in Etherscan. So once you have the Etherscan page pulled up, what you're gonna wanna do here is click on contract, and then you're gonna see code, read, and write contract. You're gonna click on write contract, and then you're gonna click connect to Web3 here to connect your wallet. All right, so now that your wallet's connected, you're gonna have all these different options here to click on. And the thing you're gonna be looking for usually is gonna be something that has the word mint in it. Luckily with this project, it is just as simple as it saying mint with number three right here. So we'll click on mint, and then we see that the project costs 0.04 ETH for each NFT that you mint. So if we wanted to go and mint say two NFTs, we would actually just type in 0.08 for the mint price and then two for the quantity. And same thing, if you're just minting one, you'd put in 0.04 and then one for the quantity. And then you're gonna click right here and a MetaMask screen will pop up. And you can see everything would work according to plan. It would mint this for the 0.04 price plus gas if I click confirm and, and you know went through with the transaction. However, I don't really wanna mint this project, so uh, I'm not gonna be doing that. Now, a good thing to know is that if you're not actually supposed to mint the project, that when you go and click right here and the MetaMask screen pops up, the gas price is gonna be extremely high, like over one ETH. And so I actually have a project, uh, Cryptoon Goons here, that you know is already minted out you know several months ago, where you, I can go and show you what it's gonna look like if I tried to mint the Cryptoon Goons, which you know is already minted out. So here, Cryptoon Goons had costed 0.07 ETH when they originally minted. And so I'm gonna put that in there with a mint count of one and click right. So if Cryptoons were actually minting right now, you would see the 0.07 price here with a reasonable gas fee. However, since you can't actually mint Cryptoon goons, you can see that the gas fee is extremely high and it's telling me I'm gonna to have to pay a max amount of 2.7 ETH on a 0.07 you know, ETH mint when gas is only at 48 GUI right now. So if you see gas that high when it shouldn't be, you know that you shouldn't be trying to mint if you are trying to mint from contract. And then again, depending on the NFT, not every single NFT is gonna be as simple as just saying mint here. It may have something else, like it may say pre-sale mint or public mint. So just be on the lookout for that when you do get into the Etherscan page here for an NFT project that you're trying to mint from contract. And then also just be aware where you're getting the contract link from. Again, make sure that you're getting it from a reputable source, preferably somebody from the NFT project's actual team within their Discord. Don't be clicking anything like through DMs or from somebody that you don't know, obviously, as it likely will be a scam. But other than that, that's really it, guys. It's as simple as that when it comes to minting an NFT from contract. If you do have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and then head on over to luckytrader.com for your number one source for all NFT content, tools, and news.